working with tipping it with the engine crane here you can see the frame of the cab is made of box section 60 mil box and your two inch 50 mil box will slide right into it then i ended up pushing that all the way through and it's sticking out here about eight inches 200 mil and this sleeved leg will slide right onto it and bolted there with the one bolt so I can take this side off and that side off and I'll be able to reuse this jig over and over and over if I ever need to tip the cab over. Putting a few pins or bolts in these um, built-in hinges on the mounts. You can see it there. Just one front and back there on the right hand side. Yeah, that's about 1400 mil and that gives us about 45 degrees. Now, it's pretty much as safe as can be. The only thing missing here is something to fall back on if uh, this crane gives way. And I wouldn't trust that crane with anything. So, just have to make a bit of a strut here. Uh, I was trying to fit that in, but it won't work. So, I have two tabs bolted on to the mounts. So, just 10 mil thick tabs. And they had a hole in them and whatever. I had those to one side. And I'll measure this distance from here to there. And I have some solid 15 mil by 60 bar there that I'll cut to size and uh, tack it up. Um, tack it while it's on the tractor, unbolt it all, take it over there and give it a good heavy weld. And then I'll have a nice strut brace. And then with those three parts, those three or four parts, um, very easy to make out of scrap, you know, just getting bits of scrap around and welding them up in 5 or 10 minutes. And now I'll have this for any other time um, I need to do this job. So we'll give this a measure here. And it's coming up to about 500 mil. I think that's safe enough for me to hop under it now. But, uh, 
But yeah, first things first, you should get a power wash. Alright, so I have all the filters off. I have this gauze out here. shift cover selector forks you see this one is fine it has a roll pin going through this cam shaped fork in through the um, pin there and this side is controlled by the cable that goes to your gear lever but this one due to strain from a blocked filter I believe in the hydraulic system broke but I have seen on farmingforum.co.uk that it's very common for a pin to snap on these John Deere 6000 series um, especially the earlier um, versions as mine is because they only put roll, one roll pin in it whereas the later versions they put two one inside the other and they're kind of a built-in redundancy there but anyway did a bit of ripping had a few other things to investigate um, I thought I had an issue with my prop shaft or something, but I think everything, even this issue, is down to a block filter and possibly the wrong filter being used by the previous owner on the hydraulic um, filter. Because the one I got today is much larger, much longer. I think they used a transmission filter for both of them, and that might be a cause some of my issues as well so I think we'll get everything done up properly in the way it should be today and I should see much better results in the tractor when using the hydraulics gears steering everything so yeah, we'll get this cleaned up here and I have a new split pin I have a new pin to go in it there make it a bit smaller bash it in and we can cut it to size when it's in the uh, in the fork there so so just if you're wondering this selector cover this uh, selector fork assembly there's a couple of them for the different, uh, I guess this is your range transmission, but uh, this one I had to tip the cab up for it, as you see. But you have a bit of access here through the side of the frame, and you need access from the top as well for the cables. But place this on the narrow it in. One end.
Now, I have absolutely horrible luck when it comes to hydraulics on tractors that I buy. You saw the case, I had all sorts of issues. I ended up working through those, figuring them out and fixing it. Um, but I really wanted to sell it after. Not so much the same case here with the John Deere. I, um, I know they're fixable and it'll be a great tractor afterwards. But the previous owner, he put the same filter in here. The transmission filter was used for... The hydraulic filter and it's much shorter much different shape might have been causing some issues maybe not but but i'll be putting the right filters in it now um and they're genuine john deere Alright, so we've a good clear path to slot that down. Get it up mated nicely. Get it mated up nicely. And it's pretty much as clean as I can get it. Now, so I'm going to go and now, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the two uh, filters, the hydraulic and the transmission filter, and uh, two drums of this um, hydraulic oil. Got all of these bits from DH Fire Machinery again. Uh, very handy. They're very good in there, and. Uh, Both filters, all pin done, uh, all put back together, sealant on, sealant is on a good hour now, so yeah, there's really nothing left to do, drop the cab, put back three cables, start her up, give her 20 minutes, see if there's any leaks, oh, there is something I forgot, the drain plug. That would be a very expensive mistake if I forgot it. But I think the camera cut out of me there, but I got this big filter on and yeah, it's much bigger than the one that was there before and I think that will um allow for better hydraulic flow on it and it should unveil if should fix a few of the problems i had i've this transmission filter put up there two filters in i've the selector forks fixed everything put back all the cables are put back cab is ready to come down and i'll put back i just have to refill two drums of hydraulic oil there and start it up, let it sit for 20 minutes, give it a test. But we can see now that my C and D gears are working and they actually feel better than A and B do. I don't know what that is down to, 
either the cable or the gears themselves but I have seen the back on the gearbox everything's working as it should there forward reverse throttle everything the cab just has to come down hydraulic and transmission oil in start it off give it 20 minutes while I'm putting the wheel on should be good to go then